We've already provided $200 million to Liberia for the Ebola crisis, and we'll continue to support the ambitious plan to get to zero cases as soon as possible. Uh, this involves making sure that every community is protected from Ebola and that all Liberians have access to the health care that they deserve. But we don't need to wait till we get to zero to start working on economic recovery. has been packaged with its economy, strictly drowning. We're concerned that agricultural production has dropped as a result of the Ebola epidemic. We will help Liberian farmers recover from this crisis. We must make sure that the Ebola epidemic is not followed by a food security crisis. Third, we will help improve selected infrastructure projects that are critical for economic competitiveness, such as urban infrastructure, access to electricity, and the construction of roads and bridges that connect farmers to markets. We'll continue to work through IFC, our private sector arm, to provide liquidity to local banks to support small and medium-sized enterprises and local entrepreneurs and farmers. Today, uh, the CEO of uh, IFC, Jin Yong Sai, is with us, and he will sign a $7.5 million loan to Ecobank. Fifth and finally, we'll help the government manage the consequences of the epidemic on the public accounts. We're working closely with the International Monetary Fund and the African Development Bank, and we're preparing several tranches of budget support in order to support uh, the government.